Oh, my team in difficulty. I was in an offline I streaming, yo. That's the funny thing about it, yo. And I understand that still, like. Mm. So the summoner help. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'll promote. Let's see what this. Let's get side control and don't let him out. There you go. Good job. You're burning up too much energy on that takedown, so you can't do anything on the ground. That bogus, yo. I take down, I take down. All right, get real heavy in side control. Hold him down, that's right. Keep doing that. You can't fight like that and think you're gonna beat anybody in this division. Come on, what the shit was that? Like... Continue that, you really force them to leave you.
people will move off of a dream they need to an extreme. Coming up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division encounter. Our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. More than five years apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. Here we go, first round, you ready? You ready? And we are live and underway here at the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. All right, here we go with round one. No denying the momentum that this young man brings to the table here tonight. He has won his last three fights, and if he wins a fourth one here tonight, he could just be staring at his first UFC title fight. If not, it might be a title eliminator. Bottom line, you win a fourth straight fight here, you are getting a high-profile pay-per-view slot here in the UFC. Some nice deception there as he lands the hook. All right, first round is underway. You better watch out for the overhands. They will come early. They will come often here tonight. And even when you do your homework, it doesn't mean you can stop it. We'll see if he can get off to a good start here tonight. Oh. Come on, what the hell? There's a kick to the body. Oh. Beautiful. And there he swung with a haymaker. Good kick. Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. He was almost moving into it. So let's see if he can switch up the footwork here, Joe, and make the requisite adjustments. Whoosh, oh, judges couldn't right miss that one. Massive right hand. Vicious combinations. Body kick, look at that. In on a double leg takedown here. is just getting worse by the minute. Rated R tonight. He lands a big shot from the bottom. Oh, good punches from the top here. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Elbow attack to the body now. Elbows landing now. Oh, man, that is rough. And he continues to work here out of top position. Nice elbow there. Clean punch. Another elbow. Excellent punch. Postures up now and lands the vicious head strike. Still working this ground and pound. Good punches. Nice elbow. He postures into place. Back to the feet now. Oh, power kick to the arms. Nice one-two combination there. Two minutes now to go in the round. He got tagged there. Oh, heavy leg kick there. You saw the knee buckle. Wow! This could be it! Wow! And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Hip escape, nice hip escape. Now working the body with the elbow. Oh, another elbow. Nice shot to the head. Well, you can see a little bit of swelling in and around oh, that left eye now. Outstanding. And that's going to do it. Ground and pound knockout.
Yeah, Joe, that was some outstanding ground and pound to get the opponent out of there. He was throwing big shots there on the ground, man. Not just looking to score, but actually looking to end the fight and to make sure the judges stayed firmly out of this equation. Elbows, punches, hammer fist, everything seemed to be working for him here tonight. And let's see that again. Boom! And then he's out. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. We go inside the Ladies octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official the decision. After this contest at three minutes, 55 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Morgan. So there he is, the man of the moment. Certainly maximized the showcase here tonight, Joe. He gets a big win by way of the knockout. Certainly kept the judges out of it here tonight. Perhaps some bonus money is... focused on accuracy. I really want to see good punches. There we go, touch him up. Way to push it. There we go, nice shot. Let's push. Nice punch. Pinpoints. That's how you land shots.
Coming up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division collision. Our tail of the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, we are underway here at the home of the UFC, the T-Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas. All right, so here we go with round one as we get this rivalry matchup underway. These fighters, of course, do not like each other. They have said they will try to just focus on their skills and letting their skills take over. Easier said than done, of course, when you're sharing the octagon with someone who you have such legitimate disdain for. That one hurt. All right, so here we go with round one, and you got to be mindful of those overhand punches if you're his opponent. You know it's a big part of his game plan. Every time out, it's his go-to punch. We'll see if he can find a home for it here tonight. Nice elbow. Follows it up with a nice combination. It appears a cut has opened up on his cheek. The kick gets through. Oh, good kicks there. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Doing a fantastic job of blocking shots. Big body shot, shot to body. He hurt him with that hook. Oh, hurt him with that Superman punch. Oh, nice inside leg kick right there. Well, his opponent's got the read now, Joe, as he lands the punch to the head. He's got to change up his striking pattern and the tempo, or he's going to continue to be vulnerable to that count. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Oh, flying knee. Good defense there. And he doesn't get it. It's in. He's deep. He's going to clasp the hands together. And dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Oh, he connected with that right hand. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. He, he landed a left hand there. He's melting. That's it. Beautiful body, body shot. shot there, too. He is taking some brutal ground and pound here. Moves to full guard. He postures into place. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Under two minutes now to go. Connects with the punch there. And he's going to transition to the back. Moves to half guard. Beautiful right hand. Oh, that cut on his brow is looking pretty bad, Joe. He has donated pints to this canvas tonight. Big punch from the bottom. Lands a good shot from the bottom. Nice punch to the body. How good is this display of ground and pound tonight? Another elbow to the head. That's a big shot right there. And he connects with the punch there. Back to half guard now. Big body punch. Less than a minute to go now in our opening round. Joe, huge block there. The defense is holding up. Kick lands for him there. Oh! He's out! A huge roundhouse kick for the knockout. Well, yeah, Joe, that fight was over as soon as that kick made contact. And with this particular striker, you are playing with poison if you don't get that guard up. You know these kicks are coming. You know they're coming in bunches. And that was a near-perfect land. Nailed the target. Full extension on the kick. And that's one of the better highlights we've seen here recently inside the octagon.
Great angle here. Boom! And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near-perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 17 seconds of the very first round. The most intoxicating word in the world of mixed martial arts is potential. Every fighter starts out with a clean slate and lofty dreams. But fight by fight, the talent pool shrinks. And only a select few will rise to the top in the UFC. You've done your part so far, growing your fan following while earning the respect of your peers in the octagon stamping yourself as a fighter on the fast track to a championship. But even now, it's clear that this taste of success will either push you to greater heights or send you tumbling, making your winning streak a distant memory. Which path will you choose?
on punch accuracy. I want you to land at a high percentage. Now I'm talking. Nice distance. Good job. Your punch accuracy is fantastic. Let's be I want to see a high accuracy rate. Nice job. Come on now, let's not get hit in there. We gotta keep moving. Use your feet to avoid the strikes. Nice. Man, your next opponent is gonna be no match for you. That's how you block.
Use your head. Work for that arm triangle. I want to see you on the other side. Keep going. There we go. That's how you get a submission. Work the far side. Keep going. Beautiful. Ship those hips. There we go. Way to work for it. Crank that arm. Good work. Keep going. Sick arm bar.
right, coming up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division collision. And now... You ready to fight? Ready. All right, we are underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. All right, so here he is, ready for round one. This man is all the rage, given what he did his last time out. It was a win by flush knockout. Now he'll try to keep the momentum going as the challenges get more difficult. You win in the UFC, nine times out of ten, the next opponent is decidedly better. That is certainly the case here tonight. Oh, nice and silent right there. All right, first round is underway, and I don't have to tell the Avid fans, you got to watch out for this fighter's powerful overhand punches. He does not discriminate power from both sides, and a big part of his game plan, obviously, coming in here tonight. Gets the elbow up into the target. Able to check that kick as well. Nice jab. Whoa, boy, he's swinging now. So both guys landing it well here. Good action early. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there, and he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. Finds his range with the jab. Oh, a huge block there. Lands an inside leg kick, Joe. <laughs> Goes upstairs with the kick. Nice kicks. He's starting to land those kicks to the body. Oh, absolutely, Joe. These body kicks are significant strikes. You're starting to wonder how much more he can take. That one hurt. Blocks the shot. All right, so there's a swing and a miss from him. And sometimes when you miss, it can tax your gas tank even more than when you land a strike. So clearly, it is energy preservation time at this point of the fight. Oh! And both guys really throwing with authority. Splits the guard, connects with the punch there, Joe. It's a high one. Takes a lot of practice to make a jab look that easy. Lands flush again. Tags him with the left. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Faints with the punch. Nice body shot. And he lands it to the leg. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Goes for a single. single two minutes to go in round one inside control once again excellent movement on the ground here always trying to better his position he's got it full mount working towards the mount trying to mount him hits the reversal and now in half guard Nicely done, reversal. Very strong with the back mount. Looking for the rear naked choke. Looks like he's got it now. He rolls on. He's got it under the chin now. He's trying to go palm to palm. That choke is locked up. Now it's deeper. And this might just be a matter of time. to go good scramble oh power kick to the arms very nice oh this could be it oh very nice oh straight right man joe he continues to leave that head open his opponent's got to be salivating at this point in time that jab has been there all night you got to get that head off the center line. Oh! Joe, huge block there. The defense is holding up. And another kick. Oh, man, look at him now. 
And he lands a knee. Oh, and he connects there. And he continues to work on the inside of that knee. He's got the single leg takedown. That horn sound oh, means oh, we have oh. reached the end of round one. All right, so that's the end of the round. He got some things done offensively, but defense still an issue. And as such, the cut on his lip is only getting worse. Let's take a look at that again. Let's see it one more time. The lovely Brittany Palmer is with us. Round two underway. Oh! Big punch. Well, this guy's striking is on a completely different level since he has aligned himself with Carissa's gym there in the United States. I've never seen Gus this excited about a mixed martial arts athlete. And even just seeing him hit pads at the open workouts, candidly, Joe, looks like a completely different fighter than we saw several months ago. Scary proposition for the rest of this division. Engaging in the clinch here, Joe. Pummels and secures double underhooks. Oh, going back to the well with that elbow and the clinch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, elbow to the head. Hard hook. Knee to the body, now it's blocked. Nice knee. Can we show you the total strikes? Doing a great job of avoiding damage by blocking those body shots. Look at that, right to the temple. Right hook to the head block. Man, the body work continues to be a factor here. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. Tying him up here in the clinch. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's in trouble right now. Oh, he might be out. Body kick, look at that. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, he gets up. The question is for how long? There's the body kick. Oh, good kicks. Well, you like the thought process to go to the counter. Ultimately, the execution not there. That's a miss. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, but up taking the aggression and the output and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Big oh, elbow there, man, miss. that is rough. into place. Big body punch. The cut on his face is getting nasty. He moves to full guard here. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Yeah, here he goes again. Well, he got cracked to the head there, Joe. He's going to have to change things up here with his footwork, with his tempo. He continues to be vulnerable to that strike coming back. Got to get his head off the center line. Yeah, got that clinch again. He's got the Muay Thai clinch. Well, he's landed some excellent shots in this fight tonight, but more often than not, it has been one and done. So the emphasis now moving forward, combinations. Throw your punches in bunches and really try to force the issue and get your opponent out of there. And he connects there. Kick lands. In on a single here. Lands an outside leg kick of his own. Again, drags him down. Nice sweep right into half guard. He hits him with a hammer fist.
Under a minute to go. He takes it back. In half guard. 45 seconds remain in the round. He does have full guard here, which is still dangerous. Big body punch. He's posturing up here. Back to the feet now. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. Whoa! He hurt him. This could be it right here. Oh, he might be out. Ten seconds to go here. Let's see what happens. But that one really hurt. Oh, so there's the horn signaling the end of the round. Thankfully for him, that'll keep him in the fight. Knocked down near the end of the round. Saved by the bell, ladies and gentlemen. Big power on this punch and results in a knockdown. Here we see that again. Let's take a look at it from a different angle. Ariane Celeste in the building as usual. Third round underway. At the end of that round, his opponent was clearly a oh, oh, He's got him right here. That goes in and secures the takedown. He moves from full guard to half guard now. Out of nowhere, this choke. He got out of the arm triangle. And dizzy as he looks to improve position here. He's got half guard. Mount! Full mount! That cut on his cheek is really nasty. They may stop this fight. Open it up with elbows here. Hip escape. Nice hip escape. He's trying to pass here. Nice sweep here. He's got half guard. Gets into side control. Full mount. From the mound here, he's got to control his opponent's posture. Nice hammer fist. Hip escape. Gets out of the full mount. And he winds up on top. He's got his back. He's looking for the rear naked choke. From here, what he wants to do is get his forearm under his opponent's chin to get that neck. From here, he wants to put his hand on his bicep and then put his other hand on the back of his opponent's neck for maximum leverage. That's it. And that will do it. He got in the choke, refused to tap, and went night-night. Well, you've got to admire the toughness, right, to not tap out. Ultimately, he chooses to go to sleep, but offensively, near-perfect execution on that submission. Beautiful transitions, clearly loose with his hips, and everything he did on the ground was near-perfect technique as he ultimately gets the submission win tonight. And one last time, super tight choke, and he's out. And it's over before he even gets a chance to tap. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 1 minute, 43 seconds of the third round. For the winner by submission, Morland! So there he is, your winner by way of submission. And candidly, Joe, I'm not sure this night could have gone any better. He did have some doubters coming in. He said, I got to mute those naysayers. And they're not going to keep quiet unless I can actually get this guy out of there. So mission accomplished. No judges necessary tonight. He gets the submission. And now all that's left is to celebrate with his coaches and training partners. What a moment for this oncoming fighter here tonight.
Stand up only this time. I need you to knock your opponent down. I want to see more out of you. Perfect shot. Let's put him down. You got more. No. More combos. Come on. Change it up. Let's go. Touching. Let's put him down. Throw more punches. Step it up in there. Throw more kicks in there. Do more damage. Throw more kicks. Not it. Fight's coming soon. We gotta see improvements. This is the fight game. Let's knock him on his ass. More strikes! Training like this is how you beat him next time.
go. Let's work for that. Good submission. Nice transition. Good submission. The name of the game is not getting hit. Block, slip, and parry. Let's see it. Way to block. Nice. Let's pull that. winning every minute in that position. There we go, almost have it. Good work, keep going. There we go. That's it, work for that submission. Training like that, and he still can't catch to you.
Now we're focused on defense. Do not get hit. You gotta push there. Nice movement. That's the way to move in there. You fight the way you train, this next opponent won't be able to hang with you. Coming up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division encounter. Well, nice to see this young fighter healthy and making the walk here tonight. His takedowns are just incredible. High amplitude takedowns, great technique. Our tail. Great fight. Great. Well, this is a venue that has hosted so many big UFC fights over the last several years, and we are underway at Juness Arena right here in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. All right, here we go with round one. Whoa! He heard him! The big right hand! All right, so here we go. First round is underway as a submission specialist look for him to go for the early takedown attempt. He's going to want to take this fight to the ground at least at some point and try to set up a submission. Big body shot, shot. body. Oh, you can tell that shot hurt him bad in the body. Sam goes in and secures the takedown. Back up. Body kick, look at that. Oh. Able to land to the body there with the left kick. Nice 
nicely done reversal. Right hand on point. Oh, a lot of blood coming out of that cheek area now, Joe. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. He's looking for the windshield wiper choke. Nicely done. He's taking some big shots on the bottom. One minute. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. He's in half guard. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Beautiful punch. Gets up again here, but hurting. Nice leg kick. It's in. He's deep. He's going to clasp the hands together. This is a little tense. Man, another takedown. Score a lot of points with these. Now the opponent is getting up quickly, but no doubt these takedowns are starting to add up. He hits him with a hammer fist. And full back. All right, there's the clapper. Ten seconds to go. Mounts again. Tags him with the left. While oh. mounting here, he's got to oh. control his opponent's oh. posture. Nice work. Nobody's hit that guy like you did before. You need to keep doing that. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round here. Starting off this round, you've got to think he's probably still hurt from that last round. He's going to want to move and avoid taking damage early. Going for the single leg now. All right, so he takes him down again. That's his first takedown of this round. Had a lot of success with it in the previous round. And it doesn't look like the corner has made the proper adjustments. Another successful takedown here. Well, it seems as though there comes a time in every fighter and striker's life where you need to make some changes. And to that end, in advance of this fight, he has left his longtime gym, which is rooted in strikers, and moved to one of the best wrestling camps in the world. He just felt like his takedown defense was exposing him and not allowing him to keep the fight where he is strongest. So tonight, takedown defense. Oh, he's got every choke in the book trying to set one up here. He's looking for the arm triangle here. What he wants to do is secure the arm, then move into side control, and rotate his body towards his opponent's head to apply pressure to get the tap. He may be forced to tap any second now. This arm triangle is locked in tight. Perfect technique, and ultimately that is one of the bigger wins of his career. He gets it done by submission here tonight. And here it is again. Beautiful arm triangle submission absolutely perfectly executed and let's watch it here one more time deep submission and the tap so there he is your winner by submission that is a finish we go inside the octagon to bruce buffer for the official decision ladies and gentlemen referee herb dean has called us off for this contest Time to end the stream here. I'll be later tonight. Come with the next episode, part two.